For the tip fifth, we do two views. We do an AP and a lateral. If you notice, my film is turned. Um, the majority of tip bibs will not fit on a 14 by 17 when it's in the portrait position. So we have to turn it either diagonal or like I like the word caddy wampus. It's just kind of caddy wampus. So, but it's diagonal. What you want on the lower leg is to include the ankle joint and the knee joint. So I want to make sure that that is all on there. Here's my medial and lateral, lateral malleolus. That should be good. There is my patella, so that should get both joint spaces on there. She's a great patient to have. But if you look, okay, so let's go 40 inches. If you look, I'm going to move her over. I have this much and this much of my film that I could still be using that I really need to use. But I'm at 40 inches and this is, it won't go any further. So what you can do is you can raise it up and see how my light expanded. So you move it out. Your centering point is just the middle of the tip bib. I'm going to collimate in side to side, have her dorsal flex her foot. Make sure my marker's in there. And there is your tip fit. I know I talked about having light on the edge of the table, that you did not want that. On the tip fit, it's okay because it has to be opened up.